efforts. In the very first game of the season against UNLV, coach Jim Sweeney unveiled a revamped running game featuring James Williams. This is my first Division One ball, and um, at first it was a little shaky because you know I was a little scared. And then um, the same started coming around, and um, the offensive line was blocking really well, and things were just going right for me just that night. The Bulldog tailback rushed for 156 yards and two TDs in an easy Bulldog victory against Oregon State. Kevin Sweeney got the passing game into high gear. Kevin Sweeney's. 96-yard touchdown pass against Oregon State had to be a highlight. It had that lights out bomb. If that, if that happened in Bulldog Stadium, they'd still be clear in the air. I mean, it would have broken the decibel count. It would have been the Richter. They'd have thought it was an earthquake if the Red Wave had that to see. The next play or the next series, he threw a 75-yard post pattern. Those were highlights. After crushing Cal Poly in Game 3, the Dogs entertained a tough physical Hawaii team at home. The two teams battled to a 24-24 tie. It was to be the only blemish on an otherwise perfect record for Fresno State. Game 6, Barry Belli booted the school record 55-yard field goal and got the team going. It was tied 7-7. And that kick made it 10-7. And then after that, we just ran over him. And they didn't have a chance after that. Just the whole team just kind of looked, seemed like they picked the whole team up and we just started playing a lot better after that. The running game tallied 346 yards and five TDs, while Sweeney connected with 12 different receivers in a 48-21 victory over the Aggies. In game seven against Utah State, FSU managed only a field goal in the first half, but strong safety Michael Stewart turned the game around in the third quarter with a 62-yard TD romp on a pass interception. The Dogs played one of the most tenacious defensive games, and there were some outstanding individual performances. In that game, uh, things started clicking for me again. I made a sack, and, and it, seemed, it seemed from that play on, and that game on, my season started coming around. I just went up on an uphill for the rest of the season. Fresno State remained undefeated going into the Long Beach game, and this is the one they had to win to ensure a trip to the Cal Bowl. Stephen Baker had a little extra incentive to do well that night. I was going back to Los Angeles, where I'm from, and playing against, you know, people that I went to high school with, and people in the city from Los Angeles that I knew, coaches, junior college coaches and family came up to see me play, and I had a pretty good game. Jack Rabbit caught six balls for over 200 yards and scored or set up five of Fresno's six TDs. And for the Bulldog defense, it was a grueling game in the trenches. It was uh, so mentally and physically exhausting. Uh, we, I thought the team, you know, played played their hearts out, and uh, I, you know, we I, we deserved that game. You know, I thought it was a hard-fought game and. And uh, I thought that we played like we should win, and we did. In game 11, the Bulldogs played to a national television audience and used a potent offense to blow out Wichita State. James Williams rushed for over 100 yards for the seventh time and became the first Bulldog in over 30 years to go over the 1,000-yard mark for a season. Kevin Sweeney broke the school record for passing accuracy in a single game and became the PCAA's career passing yardage leader. But Kevin's favorite game was the California Bowl. Going into the game, you know, we were built as a team and threw the ball deep, and, and we didn't have an opportunity early in the game. They were really back, playing back, not going to let us give the deep ball. And thus, we had a running game going, and we, and we were able to move the ball on the ground. And then the, I think it was our last play together in the California Bowl last year, we threw a long ball and Stephen caught it, made a great catch for a touchdown, and that was important to me. I think that we showed people that we can play football at that. Fresno State obliterated Bowling Green 51-7 and claimed the nation's undefeated title by going 11-0-1. In 86, the Bulldogs are looking for improvement. What will it take? Basically, what's going to make us better are better players. Uh, continuity in the coaching staff, uh, faith in the program, confidence accrued from success last year, goal setting to be better, players who 
strongly believe that it is their job to build a stronger bridge upon which better players will play for Fresno State one day and challenge the schedules that are here in the future, help build additional facilities, including more seats in the stadium. Those are the things that are going to make it better. Last year being a year that we weren't expected to win, but this year being a year where we are expected to win, our goals are just going to have to be lifted up more. And as an individual, I know I have a lot of things as a player, just myself, that I have to improve on. And just for me, it might be getting a more, couple more interceptions or just playing down and tough when it counts to ensure that, that we can win. Coach Lenny says the only people that you know, really can beat us is ourselves. And as, as long as we uh, perform with the, the techniques and the right intensity, I don't think uh, you know, there's going to be any defensive line in the nation that can, uh, you know, uh, barring injuries, to be as good as we are. I want to be a leader like I was last year. I want to get us in the end zone as many times as possible in the game. And by doing that, I got to execute and I've got to concentrate every down. And I want, and I want to. My goal, my personal goal this year is to execute every play and to do the right thing every down. And, and as long as I can do that, I'll be happy with the way I play. We are going to try to get the Doug Flutie record naturally. That will happen in common purpose. We're going to throw the football and give him the opportunity to do it because he deserves it and because his teammates, I'm sure, believe that he deserves it. He is also <clears throat> very fortunate because we have an offensive running game which is variable, which is trap, which is sweep, and which is counter, and it will take the pressure off him so he can play pass and run the football and, and get the big plays. Hopefully, he'll have the kind of year we want for him. Thanks, Coach. We'll have more halftime festivities.